Hey, welcome to Hatha Flow Yoga. My name is Catherine and my camera broke, so I'm using my phone, trying something new. Um, I hope that you can see, I'm a little, gonna be a little bit cut off today, but uh, today we're gonna need potentially a block. You don't have to have one, but if you do, it's pretty nice to have, uh, just in case your arms are feeling a little short. And we're gonna begin on our backs. So come on down. Bend your knees, feet flat on the mat, coming into constructive rest pose. Let the thighs fall together, bring your hands to your belly and sink into the floor as you take a few big belly breaths. Welcoming yourself to your yoga practice. Welcome. Exhale completely. And on the next inhale, extend your arms and legs long on the mat, stretching like you just woke up for the first time this morning. Reaching through those arms and legs, rolling the wrists. And then bending those knees once again. Take them as wide as the mat. Extend your arms left and right, and you're gonna swing the knees to the left and swing the knees to the right. So since your feet are wide, the legs aren't gonna to touch, you're just windshield wipering the legs side to side, letting the pelvis rock as you do this. You can even do this with the breath, the inhale, Knees go one direction as you feel a stretch in the front of a hip. Exhale, come back through center. Inhale, knees swing. Feel the stretch in the front of the hip. Exhale, back through center. A few more times like that. And then coming back through center, lift your right knee into your chest, the panasana, straighten out your opposite knee and rolling your right ankle as you're drawing that knee into chest. Go the other direction. And then relax the right foot, draw your tummy in, exhale, curl towards that knee lifting the head, the shoulders, and then inhale, release back to the floor. Let's do the second side. Left knee draws in, right leg straightens, rolling the left ankle both directions. On your next exhale, relax that left foot and then just curl up towards that left knee, lifting the head and the shoulders, hollow out the belly, and then releasing back to the mat. Return your left foot to the floor, right foot to the floor. Let's roll over onto hands and knees. Chakra Vakasana, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, lifting the head and tail. Exhale, lift your spine, round the back, drop your head, bring your elbows to the mat, chest to thighs, release your forehead towards the floor. Inhaling, coming back up through all fours, broad chest, lifting the head and tail. Exhale, rounding the spine, elbows to the mat, chest to thighs. One more time, inhaling, coming up through all fours. Exhaling, rounding elbows to the mat, chest to thighs. Inhale, come on up through all fours, tuck the toes, downward dog. Let your head hang, spreading the fingers really wide. If it feels good to pedal, pedal the feet, alternating bending the knees, please do that. Maybe you enjoy some stillness, but lift the hip creases. 
Broad in the chest, couple breaths here. And with an inhale, step your left foot a few inches forward, exhaling, pause. Inhaling, right foot a few inches forward, exhaling, pause. Inhaling, left foot forward, exhale, pause. Inhale, right foot forward, exhale, pause. Continue taking slow steps forward. Until so you come to a standing forward fold. Bend those knees, slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Heads the last to come up. Mountain pose. Step to the top of your mat. Half sun salutation. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. Exhale, fold forward. Fingers to the floor, gaze at the knees. Inhale, slide the hands up the legs, come halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach up, stand up. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Let's do that twice more, inhaling, reaching up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half forward fold, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Take a round of breath. Next, inhale, reach arms out and up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand up, reach up. Exhale, Tadasana. Feel your breath. On the next inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Step your left foot back behind you, coming into a high lunge as you inhale and reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, bringing the hands back down towards the floor. Step back into a downward dog. Staying here for a round of breath. Inhale, come forward, either into plank pose or hands and knees. Exhale, we're gonna meet on our bellies. Bring your arms alongside the body, preparing for locust pose. Inhale, lift your arms and legs, chest, Exhale, come down, prepare for a little baby cobra pose. You want to just use the back muscles here. Inhale, using the back muscles to lift the head and chest only, right? You can do this no handsies if you needed to. Exhale, come back down, move into downward dog. Stay here for a round of breath. Inhale, left leg back and up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your left foot forward, pre prepare for crescent lunge. So reach those arms up, high lunge. Exhale, both hands down to the mat, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand up, reach up. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Feel your breath. With the next inhale, reach up. 
exhale, fold forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, half forward fold. Exhale, Uttanasana. Step your right foot back, preparing for a crescent lunge. Inhaling, reaching up. Exhaling, both hands down. Step back, downward dog. Coming right to the floor, you're going to inhale, come through plank or hands and knees. Come on down to the floor, arms alongside the body. Next, inhale, locust pose, inhaling, lifting legs and arms. Exhaling, preparing for cobra, that baby cobra we're doing. Hug those elbows in, press the feet down, lift the chest. Exhale, back to downward dog. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg back and up. Exhale, step your right foot forward, come into a crescent lunge, lifting the arms. Exhale, hands to the floor, step left foot forward. Half forward fold on an inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Take a round of breath. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, spinal extension. Exhale, Uttanasana. Step your left foot back and slowly lower the left knee to the floor. Please feel free to stuff something under that left knee if you're feeling a little tender. We'll just be here for about three breaths, reaching the left arm, uh, both arms up rather. Leveling out those hips, tummies in. On the exhale, both hands to the mat, step back. Downward dog. Inhale, come forward to plank, four hands and knees, your choice. Exhale, we'll just make our way onto the belly. Prepare for locust pose. Inhale, lifting arms and legs. Exhale, lowering back to the floor, preparing for cobra. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come back to downward dog. Left leg lifts back and up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step left foot forward, slowly lower right knee to the mat or a blanket. Bending that left knee, reaching both arms up. Kicking the back foot into the floor to broaden the chest. Let's take one more round of breath. On your next exhale, both hands come to the mat. Step forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand up, reach up. Exhale, palms together in front of the heart. Take a round of breath. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Stepping right foot back, low lunge. Knee comes to the mat. Inhale, reaching the arms up overhead. And then now to mix it up on the exhale, we're going to come into a revolved lunge. So exhale, right hand to the right edge of the mat. Walk your left foot a little over to the left and reaching left arm up towards the sky. Leaning the head and heart back. You can gaze forward or towards that left hand. One more round of breath here. 
With an exhale, bringing the left hand to the floor. Step back to either child's pose or downward dog, your choice. You could stay in child's pose if you like to rest a little bit more. Maybe you'd like to pause in downward dog. You could also come to the floor and move through the locust pose and cobra pose. So I'll talk you through it if you wanna do that. Inhale, lifting arms and legs, locust pose, strengthening that body. Exhale, prepare for cobra. Inhale, lift up to cobra. And exhale, moving back to downward dog. Let's all meet in downward dog. Three-legged dog, inhale, right leg back and up. Exhale, step right foot through. Slowly lower back knee, low lunge, lifting those arms. On your next exhale, let's take it into a twist. Left hand comes to left edge of mat. Right foot looks, walks over to the opposite edge. And we rotate heart to the right. Leaning head and heart. Feel your breath. On the next exhale, both hands to the mat. Step forward into Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up, reach up. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Feel your breath. Good, inhale, reach the arms out and up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, fold. Step the left foot back, preparing for warrior two. So cartwheel those arms up. Here we are, you're gonna bend the right arm, uh, bend the right knee. Mm -hmm. Inhale, lifting the heart and head vertically. Exhale, head turns to look over middle finger of right hand. Feeling the breath flow. I'd like you to imagine that there's a, a line. I've drawn a line between your front heel and the arch of your back foot. Now bring your awareness to your right sits bones. So drawing your right sits bone in line with that line that I've drawn on the floor. Keep that front knee bent. One more round of breath. Side angle pose, right elbow to right thigh, swing left bicep over left ear. You also are going to bring that right hand to the floor or a block if you like. We'll just be here for about a round of breath or two more. Maybe gazing at that left bicep. On your next exhale, cartwheel the hands down, both hands frame, the front foot step back, downward dog. Take a round of breath here. Three-legged dog, inhale, left leg back and up. Exhale, set the left foot through. Land the back heel, prepare for warrior two, second side, cartwheel those hands. And I'll just turn around so I'm facing y'all. Here you go. Inhale, lifting your heart vertically. Exhale, turning the head to look over the Gaze to look over, gaze over the middle finger of your left hand. Feel your breath flow. Now here once again, I've drawn an imaginary line on your mat between your front heel and the back arch. With your awareness, locate your left sit bone, sit bone and see if you can draw it in line with that line that I put on the floor, right? So maybe the bum feels it's coming out kind of far or forward too much, right? Kind of lining it up on that line. 
right over that line. Let's take about one more round of breath here. Side angle pose, left elbow to left thigh, reaching right bicep over right ear. I like to think of that top arm as just really growing on diagonal out from the outer edge of that right foot. Keep drawing the tummy in, maybe leaning the head and heart back. Maybe turning the head to look at the right bicep. Last round of breath. And then exhale, cartwheel them, hands down to the floor, step back to a downward dog. Feel the breath. Feel free to come down to child's pose if you like. Uh, or inhale, come forward into plank or hands and knees. Exhale, find your way to the floor. Arms alongside the body for our locust pose. Inhale, lifting legs and arms. Feel that chest open. As you exhale, prepare for cobra. Tops of the feet to the floor. Inhaling, maybe pushing the hands into the floor this time to curl the heart open or peel the heart open a little bit more. Exhale, come on back down. Move into dog pose, downward dog. One more round of breath here in downward dog. With an exhale, empty out your lungs. And then step or hop forward into a forward fold. Ardha Uttanasana, inhale. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, stand up, reach up. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Feel your breath. Bring your gaze to something eye level in front of you. And resting it on something on this item here, steadying the mind as we come into tree pose. Shift the weight of your body to your right foot and then bending the left knee, slide the left foot either below or above the knee. Squeezing the foot to the thigh. Thigh squeezes into foot. Maybe we stay here with the palms together in front of your heart. Maybe we reach the arms overhead. Take one more round of breath. Good, and then on an exhale, bring the palms back together in front of your heart and you're gonna step the left foot back behind you, coming into warrior. One, fear of address in a one. So um, for this warrior one, please have your feet about hips width distance apart, like east and west on the mat. Get your back toes turning in a little bit here, squaring your hips and pelvis to face the top edge of your mat, drawing your tongue in. Uh, let's come into eagle arms, left arm under right, and then bringing the palms together, squeezing the elbows together as you reach them a little further away from the heart and moving the uh, uh, shoulders simultaneously away from each other at the same time. Stay connected to the flow and rhythm of your breath. Let it move. On your next exhale, go ahead and release the arms, rolling the shoulders forward up and then back onto the back. Flatten those shoulder blades behind you, interlace the fingers. Options here. Now, the whole reason why I'm having you hold these hands behind your back 
is because I want your chest to be open. Particularly, I want the heads of your shoulders to move back in space. So for some of you, you might find you need to just keep the elbows bent. That's totally fine. If you can straighten the elbows and the heads of the shoulders are still moving back, cool, do that too. We're gonna move into warrior three. Step onto your front foot and then balancing here. So the back leg and the trunk and the head, they're all on the same plane. So if the leg lifts, the chest dips, leveling out those hips. Let's stay here for two more rounds of breath. You can do this. And then exhale, release back to that warrior one position, release the arms. We're gonna come back to the floor, hands to the mat, slowly lower the back knee to the mat. And we're gonna come back into a twist like we did earlier. You're gonna walk your right foot over to the right edge of the mat. Left hand is gonna be on the floor. And right arm reaches up towards the sky. Stay here for about two more breaths, maybe gazing forward, maybe gazing at that right hand. And then the hand comes back towards the floor. You're gonna walk your right foot forward, coming into Ardha Hanumanasana, half Hanuman. Peel the toes back. Now, this is where perhaps maybe a block would come in handy. If you feel like the floor feels quite far from you, you just maybe step a block or two underneath the hands. Stay broad in your chest. We'll take one more round of breath. Good, and then landing the right foot, tuck the back toe. Let's go ahead and step forward into Uttanasana, forward fold. With an inhale, half forward fold. Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up, stand up. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Tree pose, drishti on something in front of you, eye level, shift the weight to the left foot, bending right knee, swing it open. So foot could be above or below that knee, doesn't really matter. Are you breathing? That, that matters. <laughs> Are you squeezing the foot into the inseam of the leg? That matters as well. Do we create a nice strong wall for the foot to press into? And that is the glue that keeps the foot there. Of course, you can add some sort of arm variation that brings you joy. One more round of breath here. And with an exhale, palms come together once again in front of your heart. Slowly release that right foot back into Warrior one, Virabhadrasana one, back heel comes down, firming up that right glute to help square the hips. Check that you're not on a tightrope with those feet. You wanna have a little bit of a wider stance. And then we'll do eagle arm, right arm underneath left. Squeeze those elbows together, moving the shoulders away from each other. So that not only is the chest broad, but the upper back is broad as well. One more round of breath here. On your exhale, release. Rolling the shoulders forward, up, and then flatten those shoulder blades down the back. Tummy's drawing in. Find your bind that works the best for your shoulders. What will help stretch your chest? And then we'll press onto that front foot, warrior three.
and keep the breath flowing, keep it flowing. And so, I mean, what's cool, I think there's so much you can do with these poses, right? If you're like, maybe the body on a horizontal line doesn't feel accessible, you could always kind of maybe have the foot a little like pretty low and you're still all on the same plane, that's totally fine. Just make sure that the head, heart, heel, back heel that is, is all on the same plane. One more round of back. And then release back to the warrior one, Virabhadrasana one legs, just for a moment, as we prepare to come on down, low lunge, back knee down. Let's move it into a twist, walking the left foot over to the left, right hand on the right edge of the mat, reaching left arm up towards the sky. Keep that front foot heavy, front knee bent, hugging that front knee, towards center line of body. And wherever you're gazing, make it intentional. You're either looking forward, maybe at that left hand. One more round of breath. With an exhale, left hand to the floor, Ardha Hanumanasana. Peel the toes back. One more round of breath here. And then let's just step that left knee, uh, drag that left foot back, coming onto hands and knees here. Slowly lower down onto the belly. Arms alongside the body, preparing for locust pose. Inhale, lifting arms and legs. And then here, we're gonna hang out here for just a little bit, doing something a little different. Uh, bring the inside edges of your feet together. So not the soles of the feet, but the inside edges of the feet. You're gonna keep the legs straight and hopefully that's gonna feel, you're gonna feel your glutes kind of light up in a little different way. That's, that's good. Feel your breath move. Keep moving the heads of the shoulders away from the floor, just as if you were in a bind with the hands. Let's do one more round of breath. And then exhale, lower down, bring left cheek to the mat, take a round of breath. Hands underneath shoulders, preparing for a cobra. Hug the elbows in, inhale. Again, if you wanna push the hands in and go into a deeper cobra, please do. Round of breath here. And then on the exhale, right cheek to the mat, arms alongside the body, take round of breath, release the back body to the floor. Good, and then hands underneath shoulders, come on up. Okay, so, um, we're gonna work on a little bit of arm strength here. You're welcome to just do downward dog or if you'd like to work on dolphin pose, you can come along with me. I find a block's really helpful to do this. If you don't have a block, that's totally fine. But blocks are nice because um, they kind of can keep your forearms parallel. That's, that's basically what I really want you to do. You're gonna bring your elbows to the mat, shoulder width distance apart. So actually this block is a little bit too small for being shoulder width distance apart, but at least it'll stop me from going, hands going in too far. Uh, wrists and elbows are in line with shoulders. And then you're gonna just press up, pressing those elbows, hands into the floor. You've got this real broad quality in the chest and the shoulders as you're doing this. So if this isn't a good fit for you, if you've got shoulder injuries or something, you certainly please just do a regular downward dog. Continue to let the breath flow freely. Pressing those elbows down into the mat. 
Let's take one more round of breath. And then exhale, release the knees to the mat. Come on back to the belly and let's open up the chest a little bit here. So you remove the block if you used it. Extend your left arm um, directly in line with your shoulder and then bend your left elbow. So you got like half a cactus arm here. You're gonna bring your left cheek to the mat and press the elbow and the palm into the mat until you can draw that left shoulder blade onto the back. And then you're gonna roll over onto the left side of the body. So we're actively pressing that left arm into the mat to help open the chest. This key here is you want that left shoulder blade on the back. My right hip is stacked over my left. Let's take one more round of breath. And then come on back through center, second side. Extending right arm, bend that right elbow. So you want the right elbow in line with the right shoulder. Spread the fingers wide, right side of the face to the mat. Press the right hand into the floor, right elbow into the floor until you can really move the head of that right shoulder away from the floor. Shoulder blade is on the back. Once that all is in place, then you roll onto the right side body, opening the right pack. So we're pressing that right arm into the floor. Keep this being an active, engaged pose in that right arm. One more round of breath here. And good, go ahead and roll back through center. Come on up through all fours and pigeon pose, you're gonna draw, actually let's take a little downward dog first. We'll really lengthen out that spine. And uh, you know what's coming next, right, pigeon? So you're welcome to do a face down pigeon like I'm gonna do. If, if you've got an injury, please come onto your back and do figure four legs, kind of like, uh, I think they call it uh, threading the needle sometimes in physical therapy. On an exhale, draw right knee forward just behind the right wrist. And then to go deeper into the posture, slide your left leg back behind you, right? So you're moving that back leg away from the top of the mat and that's gonna help you kind of hopefully get that sweet spot. The right knee, again, is in line with the right wrist and your hands are shoulder width on the mat. So you don't have to swing that knee super open. I want you to, Imagine you're gonna slide the knees together here. Well, actually that's what I'm gonna ask you to do. They're, they're not gonna move, but you're gonna engage the muscles that would cause you to slide the knees together. Just taking a moment here, actively engaged here in the stretch. And then with an exhale, go ahead and release the elbows to the floor if you'd like. Another nice time to have a block. Sometimes it's nice to stuff a block under the head here. Let your belly soften and relax the tongue and the jaw. And then on your next inhale, come on back to a downward dog. Preparing for the second side, left knee comes forward, kisses the wrist of your left hand, land the back leg, and then get into it by dragging that, or the, the back leg kind of crawls away from the front of the edge of the mat to help deepen the sensation in the outer left hip. Now, 
engaging the inner thighs. You're going to press the knees down into the floor and try to drag them together. It'll cause you to rise up a little bit. That's okay. Take one more round of breath here, engaging, pressing those knees down and trying to slide them together. And then exhale, coming into a more passive pigeon pose. Scanning through the body and just notice if, you, if you're engaging anything that doesn't need to be engaged right now. On your next inhale, so we come on back up. Please feel free to take another downward dog for a breath or two if you need to stretch out the backs of the legs. But where we're going next is coming on to the back. Bending the knees, heels are uh, close to the glutes. And then I want you to take your feet, um, Go about shoulder width distance apart here. Keep your thighs as parallel as they can be as you bend your elbows and uh, till your fingers are pointing towards the sky. You kind of have like robot arms. We're gonna come into a variation of bridge just for a moment or two here. So press those elbows straight down as you lift the hips, gaze at the ceiling. If you need to look at the screen, please come down and just check out what I'm doing. So I'm just pressing the elbows down to help Draw the shoulder blades once again onto the back, pressing the entire uh, sole of both feet into the floor, feeling the glutes engage once more. And let the chin be just far enough away from the chest so that the throat feels open, the face can relax. Let's take one more breath here. And then exhale, release down. Pop the hips to the right, just, just an inch or so, and then draw the knees into the chest and over to the left for a twist. Left hand can rest on top of the uh, top thigh as you turn your head to look over, right shoulder. With an exhale, come on back through center, land the feet. Popping the hips now back through center and then to the left, knees into chest. Take your second side, knees go right, resting right hand on the top of the left thigh. So you're kind of like in a bind here. You're all kind of twisted up, but can you feel the breath still flow? Just noticing, does it feel or can it feel relaxing? Feeling the breath come up against the confined quality of this twist. Or the spaciousness of the breath and the confinement meet. And then coming on out of it, both feet to the mat, preparing for a relaxation pose. You can extend the legs long on the mat. Um, you're also welcome if. Shavasana doesn't feel like a good fit for you. Just sit up and, um, and just follow the breath with your mind for, we'll be in relaxation pose for just about uh, two minutes. So go ahead and find a position that feels relaxing, spacious. It's gonna allow you to really get in touch 
with this moment through the breath. If you've taken a lying down position, please scan once more through the body and just check, is there anything that's unnecessary, um, that's gripping unnecessarily, like maybe the forehead or the tongue, the lips. Shavasana. Deepening your breath. If you're in Shavasana, begin to wiggle your toes, fingers. And then moving into a big morning stretch, reaching those arms overhead. And eventually drawing the knees into your chest and rolling to one side. Use your arms to come up to a comfortable seat of your choice. We'll meet with our palms together, Nanjali Mudra in front of the heart. And just noticing how you feel. If you were able to cultivate any benefits from your yoga practice today, Please think of someone special in your life who maybe could use some of these benefits, some strength, relaxation, ease. Picture them clearly where they may be in their day. See their face. And then we'll send them out all these good feelings with an exhale. Take a big breath to collect it up. Send it out. See them smiling, feeling good. Thank you for practicing today. Namaste.